Hey everybody, Joe from Home Crush here. So the big news today was Blackmagic Design's announcement of the 12K Ursa Mini. Now, I'm not even going to comment on that one because number one, wow. And number two, who cares what I think? In support of the new camera, Blackmagic updated their color science to Generation 5. Because their cameras shoot raw and color science is applied in post, existing cameras, like my trusty Pocket 4K, can take advantage of the new Generation 5 color science, even files I shot two years ago. Right after the announcement, Blackmagic released a beta version of Resolve that supports the new color science. Almost immediately, Facebook and other forums just started filling up with people claiming that the color was so much better with Gen 5. But is it? Really? Well, you tell me. You're looking at it. It looks pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe it does. But this isn't Gen 5. This is Gen 4. This is Gen 5. Wait, can't see a difference? Okay, sorry, neither of those were Gen 5. I actually shoot these talking head videos on a Panasonic GH5. But now I am going to show you a shot that shows the difference between Gen 4 and Gen 5, so you can decide for yourself if you'll benefit from the change. What I did was take the same shot and process it a variety of different ways, starting with Gen 4 as the base, and then with Gen 5 as the base. In this first pair, all I did was adjust the black, middle gray, and white points to match. Doing so clearly reveals the biggest difference, a less linear gamma curve. In other words, Gen 5 is more log. It's capable of holding more dynamic range. But that doesn't mean Gen 5 magically gifts your camera with more dynamic range. It's a bigger bucket, but it's carrying the same amount of water. Sorry. If you think it reveals more shadows or protects more highlights, it's just an illusion. You're just looking at a flatter starting point. For the second pairing, I let Resolve transform both the gamma and the gamut, or color space, to Rec. 709. Since Resolve knows exactly how to transform the two different curves, it's no surprise we end up with exactly the same gamma. But something is different. Do you see it? The red netting on my daughter's Christmas dress is oversaturated nearly clipping the red channel on the Gen 4 version. Anyone who has ever had brake lights in their shots knows this is Gen 4's Achilles heel. Gen 5, on the other hand, aggressively maps the oversaturated color into safe Rec. 709 space. For my third pairing, I wanted to see how my Pocket 709 LUT would react to Gen 5. Not surprisingly, the contrast is off. We've already established that Gen 5 uses a new gamma curve. But if I use the gray patches on a test chart to recreate and reverse the Gen 5 curve, we end up with an image that is essentially identical, except for a slightly different handling of the saturated red. Personally, I prefer how my pocket LUT manages the gamut transform. The Gen 5 version appears overly desaturated. What really caught my eye, though, was what Blackmagic did not do with Gen 5, which is make the overall color matrix more accurate. All of the color errors present in Gen 4 are still there in Gen 5, notably the dingy yellow-brown-greens. If you've ever seen a Ryobi tool, you can clearly see that the Pocket LUT version is a more accurate representation of their trademark chartreuse. Okay, I hope that helped demonstrate the real versus the perceived differences in the Gen 5 color science. The gamma curve is different, but it's not really better for existing cameras. They just don't have the dynamic range to fill it. Very saturated colors are brought back into range, but you may find that other methods yield a more natural result. And in terms of the accuracy of important memory colors, there is no improvement. If you care about starting your grade with the most accurate colors, you're still going to have to correct your footage. If you're an exposed to the right kind of shooter, I recommend trying Paul Leeming's Leeming LUT. If you prefer to expose naturally, then I humbly suggest you try my Pocket 709 LUT. Speaking of which, on Monday I'm releasing version 3. V3 triples the number of samples used for the transforms, and will include distinct versions for Gen 4 and Gen 5 gamma curves. Like all Pocket LUT upgrades, V3 is free to existing owners. You should receive an email with a new download link on Monday. It's not 12k for free, but hey, it's something. Merry Christmas.